In today's topic, we are going to understand how deflation works, in what ways government counter inflation. So first, let me tell you the definition of deflation. Now, when you hear the word deflation, I'm sure you must have heard this sentence that deflate your car tires or vehicle tires. So deflation means taking out the air. So anything that is removed or decreased is termed as deflation. So in economics, deflation simply means a decrease in the general price level of goods and services. When consumer prices fall, it might sound attractive if you want to do shopping, but then that's called discount. When consumer prices fall due to deflation, it simply means there is a long-term drop in demand, not a short term. Now, why is there a drop in long-term demand? There could be reasons like increase in unemployment, recession, the income of the consumers have fallen, inflation, outdated item that means no innovation, pandemic, too much of low-cost imports and many more such reasons are there. But here we are talking about deflation that is fall in consumer prices. That means inflation cannot be a reason. Apart from that, you can add as many reasons as you can that lead to a drop in demand. But largely you can say that deflation occurs due to fall in consumer income or you can say recession. Over a long period when consumer income has not increased or the market is facing a recession, that leads to declining wages, job losses and falling investment portfolios. As the situation worsens, so does deflation. With that, economic growth slows down. So I hope you have got a general idea regarding what is deflation and how it works. Now to combat deflation, the government and the central bank increases the money supply. And this can be achieved by doing tweaks in both monetary policy and fiscal policy. Monetary policy is used by the central bank and fiscal policy is used by the finance ministry. Now, whenever the government and the central bank uses these tools to increase the money supply, people often think that the central bank or the government is printing money. That is not true, at least not in the case of the Indian economy. But then if you see, the United States Federal Reserve does print money. Anyhow, so what the Indian government does is, with the help of fiscal policy, they can lower or increase the taxes. In the case of deflation, the government lowers the taxes. Then they also increase government spending. It could be on infrastructure, welfare schemes, etc. Government also increases the bond rates. Likewise, the central bank decreases the interest rate. So the idea is that by increasing the money supply, the government wants people to have more money in their hands to spend. This way, people will stop waiting for prices to fall further. And that increases the demand. And then businesses also expand. More jobs are also created. The moment demand increases, prices will go up. And that is how you reverse the deflation. On the other hand, to fight inflation, what the government and central bank generally do is, they reduce the money supply. And how do they reduce the money supply? By increasing the lending interest rate. But keep in mind, if you try to control inflation by reducing the money supply, that may also cause recession and job losses. And one more thing that I should tell you, whenever central bank increases the lending interest rate, always remember this point, the bond prices will go down when interest rate goes up. Government bonds are supposed to be the safest investment option. But the return on investment is less. Since it is a fixed income asset, people generally invest in it. And in return, the government raises money to support its spending. So generally, government controls inflation by reducing the money supply. And the money supply is controlled by increasing interest rates and lowering bond rates. If not controlled, that may cause recession and job losses. So what you have to do is balance the economy in such a way that too much deflation is bad and too much inflation is also bad. It's a balancing act at the end of the day. I hope you found this video informative. Thank you for watching it.